feedback. Should you take it for exactly how it's given? What you read in a book, should you take it for exactly how it's read? Or should you interpret that feedback? Should you interpret what you read? Use your brain. It's interesting because a lot of people think that you just need to take feedback for what it is. You need to take the direction for what it is. Otherwise, it must mean that you don't, that you're not open to feedback, right? That you're not open to learning. That's not true. I work for somebody and I remember it's the first time I had a leader tell me something, give me advice on something and clearly say, look, I'm not saying, he said, I'm not saying that this feedback or this advice is accurate, correct, right. What I'm saying is it's my feedback based on my observations and my experiences. It's now up to you to take that feedback and decide whether or not you believe the feedback to be accurate. And it made me think, right? Like it made me actually think about the feedback and that I don't need to take everybody's feedback, but I need to be open to it. And then I need to decipher it. I need to think about the individual that's giving me the feedback or the individual that wrote the book, for example, whatever the case might be. And what credibility do they have? What have they earned? Right? So being open to feedback and taking the feedback for exactly how it's given are two completely different things. Take the feedback, okay? Listen to it. But use your brain. Decipher it. Think about it. Maneuver it, influence it, make it what it needs to be for you. But be open to hearing it and then use that brain of yours. Let's get up and go.